Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Aaron Ben here and I'm back. I've been away for a couple months, but I've been working with this crypto trading bot company and they made GG bot, Golden Goose bot. I really like this product. I really want to talk about this product. I want to expose anyone that is interested in this into a, you know interested in in a crypto trading bot. I really think this product is good and I'm going to sh you know mention a couple features that makes this GG bot really special. So, you know, number 1, market strength indicator. So, there's a market strength evaluator based on, you know, the 15-minute candle, maybe 30, the hour, 2 hour, and you can tell the bot, you know, hey, I want to do this on the 1 hour, 2 hour. So, this bot will monitor the market strength and I'll explain to you what market strength means later on. There's also a volume increase indicator per coin. So if there's any type of volume movement on a coin, you can tell the software, hey, you know, if there's an increase by 1%, look at this coin. I'm interested in buying. There's also MA. Uh, so, you, you know, if it crosses over, and there's a volume increase at the same time, then you can buy. You might, you, you'll be able to catch the wave. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm using this bot. I really like it. I'm basically using the settings that fits what I'm investing. So obviously you want to trade with a specific amount for you know DCA. There's also DCA in this. It's a true... Uh, double down as well. Uh, so if you spend, let's say, 0 0.005 on a coin and it hits DCA level 1, it's going to spend 0 0.01. There's so many features that are involved. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're interested in this, please stay tuned. I'm going to have a bunch of videos on this explaining each and everything. This video today is going to basically be about how to install it, how to get through the, the wizard and get your bot up and running what i love about this is there's a bear and bull setting but the simplicity of it makes this makes this crypto trading bot better you know what i mean so uh, once you set it you can leave it you can go to work you can come back and check it out you can monitor it this runs off of a this can run off your pc run off a, a VPS and um, yeah if you have any questions just stay tuned leave comments thank you for tuning in now moving on to the installation process once you purchase the ggbot you would then obviously download it extract the zip file and launch the executable once you launch the executable it will open up in your browser here you will have the username that you would like to use to log into your your bot. For now, we're going to use test. We're going to use test as the password as well. And in the server port, I'm going to leave it at 2040. Actually, I'm going to change it to 2020. The default key, your API default key, API secret. This you can get from your exchange uh, from Binance you would have to create those. This is a, a BTC fail safe. So if within 24 hours BTC drops by a specific mount, um, if you enable this, you can determine the specific amount. For me, I like to leave it at 1%. If you don't like, if you don't want to use this, you don't have to. This will activate the bear settings that you determine what your bear settings are. So there's a bear and bull settings that you're going to configure throughout this wizard. So as you can see here, we have bull market settings, and then you have bear market settings. So basically, you would be putting in your, your trade cost, how many pairs that you want to trade, uh, or you want the bot to, to trade, whether it be maybe 10, 15. This is also dependent on the amount that you like basically your funds you know what is your balance that you have there's also a DCA calculator within the software 
that will help you determine whether or not your funds will cover the amount of pairs, if you get what I'm saying. And I'll show you once we get the, the application launched. So trade amount. Let's start off with 0 0.005. Let's leave it at the default, which is around 10. You can blacklist pairs. Uh, we can leave that blank. So trade cost if it's a bear market. To be safe, we can always input a bear minimum. If you want to increase or decrease the amount of pairs that you want to trade with, let's say we want to trade with only seven in a bear market setting. And then nothing for blacklist. Just click next. We'll be moving on to how much profit you want, you're looking to make, the trailing percentage, the stop loss if you want to use stop loss. Activate the DCA. Uh, that's if you want to use DCA. Uh, you can't have uh, stop loss and DCA activated at the same time. As you can see, if DCA is active, stop loss will be ignored. Stop DCA at BTC drop. This is also if if um, you know the BTC BTC drops at a certain percentage, it will not buy if it meets a DCA level. Max buy time. So, how many DCA levels you want to have? Then you have DCA cost, and then DCA buy trigger, and then you can determine how many triggers you would like. So, for the bull market settings, let's say we want. I like. I like to have more than, you know, 1%. Me personally, I'm, I, I like to have 3%, you know, based on the little amount that I'm, I'm trading with, uh, because I like to trade with uh, 0 0.0025. But it's also, it also, you know, depends on what you're willing, willing to risk. You know, buying in crypto is always a risk. So trailing percentage, I like to go with 0 0.3 stop loss. We're going to put 100. Activate DCA. Yes, I like to activate DCA. Me personally, the reason why I like to activate DCA is because you never know when the market is going to drop. You really never know when there's going to be a dip. Uh, there could be some FUD that comes out and then, you know, something happens. So DCA will help you to balance things out. So when it drops, it will buy more and then kind of keep your average closer to where the current price of that coin is. So in case there's any type of movement upward, you don't have to wait, you know, the 5 or 10% that it did drop and then wait for it to come back up another 5 or 10% and then goes up 2% for your profit, original profit. So this is why, uh, you know, DCA, unfortunately, it is kind of necessary, especially when you're using, you know, automated system. And of course, we don't want to use, you know, we obviously wouldn't want to use DCA in a perfect world, but... It's not. So we're going to type in double. I like to double down. Uh, DCA buy trigger, I like to do negative three. And let's go with, uh, so for a bear market, I'm going to say negative five. And then if it continues to drop, I'm going to say negative 10 just in case. Just because, you know, when you're spending 0 0.05, it's going to double down. So when it doubles down, it's going to be zero point. The next purchase is going to be for 0 0.01. Now, that's the first trigger. You have in total now spent 0 0.015. If it DCA level, if it hits the second trigger, it's going to spend 0 0.02, which then means you're going to be at a total of 0 0.035 at, at level two. So this does get costly when you're doubling down. All right. I also want to wait. I want to wait until the market settles. 
So if the market is dropping at a substantial rate, I don't want a DCA at all. I want to wait until the market settles and then I'll buy back in when everything is flat, kind of not everything is flatlined, but when that coin basically settles and it flatlines, it's a better chance of it going back up. You don't want to buy when it's when it's just sliding downward. You want to wait until it settles and then you can get back in there. So DCA, BCC drop percent. Let's say uh, it stops at, let's say two and a half for a bull, for bull market, yeah, two and a half. We'll do it for, this is just for testing purposes. So uh, bear market settings, let's say uh, for me, I don't care. I'm not going lower than 1%. There's people that will put 0.6%. That is totally up to you. These settings are totally up to you when you're putting them in and you can always modify them after. I'm just going based off of my own personal, you know, trading wants. So the trailing, uh, let's say 0.2. Stop loss. I do not want to, uh, I don't want a stop loss. Activate DCA. Yes. For a bear market, I, put, I use five triggers. And like I said before, this does get costly if something like, if, if it needs to use these triggers. So if it needs to use these triggers, especially if it's in a bear market, um, actually, let me put this, let's say, zero, let's say six, let's say this is nine, let's just go down by three. This obviously is just four to get you guys through the wiki. I'm sorry, through the installation process. Stop DCA. BTC drop, yes, we're going to say negative 1% because if it goes down any further, we don't want to be on the back end of it. Now, this is the time frame in which you want to have the bot work. You can choose your time frame, uh, whether you want to trade on the 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, two hours, four hours. Me personally, I like to trade on the one hour the time period so it's going to look back it's going to look back the amount of time is going to look back the amount of periods from the selected time frame candlestick time frame and then now in the bear market settings for me i'm going four hours so I want the bear market settings to kind of be a little bit more strict and this is just this is just based off of my own personal my own personal you know settings that I want. By all means you can modify this, you can change this. I'm just you know guiding you through this process. So market strength. So market strength checks for coins, uh, market strength improvements over the selected you know candle time frame, candlestick time frame. Combined with a, a period time frame as well. Market strength combined with min volume filter 24 hour can get used to pick up only certain markets. So with this, you're telling the bot, and I can actually show you how that works. So while I have you here, I'm going to show you the market strength for the 15 minutes. So the, this is, it's basically looking at the market on a 15 minute candle and saying, hey, you know, this is the strongest coin in the last 15 minutes or a 15 minute candle. This is the one that has the, the, the most market strength. Now we can click on the 30 minutes and look at how ZRX is really moving today. Um, and you can go on the one hour. So I'm trading a base off of the one hour and I put, what did I put for the one hour? I didn't put anything. So. Let's say for bull market, we want to say two and a half. When in the bull market, it's going to say two and a half. It's only going to choose these coins here. So these coins that are two and a half and above, it's going to look at these coins and then apply your other settings, which could be the volume increase indicator, your MA strategy. So we can keep clicking here and keep going back and forth. And, and we can notice that ZRX has been moving very well all day. Um, and then, uh, yeah, based on your time, based on the time frame that you choose, it's going to pick, you know, f 
47 between 47 pairs if you, if you choose a four hour window sorry four hour candlestick so for bear market settings um, let's say if it goes into a bear let's just say uh, two we can say 2.5 we can still keep it the same it'll still work the same so MA1 obviously you can choose what you want MA2 you can choose what you want I am going to pick for a bull market, I like to use, so for my, my, for me, I pick, I use these settings, MA spread, I put one and a half. For a bear market, I don't use, I don't use MA. And this is what is great about this bot. You don't have to choose MA, you can use other settings. So for a bull market, I do not use Bollinger Band. But for a bear, I'm going to choose yes, and then the period, I'm going to say 20. So as you can see, you can have different type of strategies based on the market. So in a bear market, I want to say, hey, if it's outside of the Bollinger Band, based on a 20, a, a 20, a, you know, the period, a period of 20. To have that coin in, you know, meet a criteria of saying, hey, this is a possible buy. Now, here's the volume increase filter. This is what I really like to use. I like, I really like to utilize it. So for the bull market settings, I tend to put 0 0.5. And the reason why I have this a little bit lower is because in a bull market, it doesn't take much for a coin to kind of shoot up any moment. You know what I mean? But for a bear market, we might need to increase this a little bit more. And these are the settings that I kind of use. These are the settings I like to use just because if it's in a bear market, you can catch certain coins that may shoot up, you know, 1% or 2%, 3% based off of the volume increase. So I'm using 0 0.74 for bear. Now, here we have the min volume filter, obviously 30 BTC is what I use. 30 again for bear. Now we have the spread filter. Yes, I am going to say 1.5 is my favorite number for these. I will keep it as such. Actually for the bear market, I like to keep it a little bit more strict, um, but it's really up to you. One, one and a half is really not bad. It's, it's a pretty, it's in between basically moderate and, and strict. So that's kind of how I like it. Uh, wait before rebuy. So let's say in a bull market, if you got rid of a coin and it shot up, let's say three or three to five percent, do you want to buy again when you just sold it at three or five percent? No, I don't. So for me, I don't want to buy that coin again until an hour passes for me a bear market i don't mind buying again because you never know it may have shot up one or two percent and then and then really took a nosedive after that and it's even cheaper so we can follow we can we can ride that wave now here we have sell only mode i don't like to use um sell only mode just because of my own personal preference there's no specific reason, but I feel like there, it doesn't matter what type of market, there's always a good time to buy a certain coin, you know, that's, that's falling, you know, that's meeting maybe your own requirements, even a manual buy, you would like to see, you know, you would still want to buy it manually. So for me, I don't like to use it. You can also use a simulation mode if you want, you can click yes or no. I'm going to click yes because this is a simulation of an installation. So panic sell all, no thank you, activate sound, you can listen to weird noises when your bot buys and sells, sell only mode, no thank you, simulation yes please, panic sell all, no, activate noise, sure, why not, then you'll hit finish it is going to say it saved your configuration for bull, bear and bull. It's going to say it's going to close out. 
this session and then we need to restart the bot so we're going to restart the bot it's gonna open it up and then basically we're gonna type in test test log in it's obviously not gonna have any account because I put in bogus stuff and as you can see it's really not communicating with anything because of the keys that I put in the API information was bogus so I will shoot over to what is working and I'll show you the live tracking I'll show you the DCA uh, calculator I'll show you the DCA calculator there's a profit tracker based on uh, it'll tell you you know how a couple, you know, it'll give you like um, you know your weekly or monthly statistics here's your sales log uh, here's your settings if you ever need to go in here and modify your settings these are the settings that I use that I'm currently using I have two bots that I'm testing uh, I want to try and get the most out of my investments so I'm working with two bots at the moment or two, two different um, yeah basically two different bots with two different configurations one with uh, playing around with the one hour and four hour for bear market and then I'm planning on using the four hour for a bull market and then a 12 hour for bear um, and just to see which does better just because I want for me I want less trades with the most profit so I want to see even if I get two or three trades a day as long as I'm getting you know a higher percentage then I do not mind increasing my trade amount because in doing so when you're increasing your trade amount obviously you're gonna get more in return so that's just how I'm going to approach this. This is the installation uh, guide. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll have a link for GGBot. I'll have a link for the Discord as well. And you can always reach me in my Discord um, chat channel, or you can just send me a message, the Magic Man 3 and anything else please download the brave browser and watch me on youtube you'll earn free bat tokens also you'll be contributing to me as well as a brave publisher all right i hope everyone is doing good hopefully um this video was helpful let me know how it is thanks magic man here and out